Once the radial column is exposed, placement of a radial pin plate begins with insertion of a transthyloid K wire. When the K wire strikes the opposite cortex, use a drill sleeve as a drill stop in order to control the depth of penetration. The C arm image can usually help determine which pinhole is best suited for the position of the K wire, and the radial pin plate is slid over the pin underneath the tendons of the first dorsal compartment and then fixed proximally with a 2.3 millimeter bone screw. If other implants are used for complex fracture patterns, it's usually helpful to limit proximal fixation initially to a single screw. In the majority of cases, a second K wire is inserted, skipping a pinhole for a slightly broader area of fixation. Holes for each hook are prepared in a more distal pinhole. If the first pin is at the end of the plate, the hook can be placed dorsally over the edge of the plate. The eight instruments used for preparation of the hooks are placed on the hand table to streamline the hook bending process. Note the spot on the pin where the hook should start in order to end with a pin of proper length. This is shown by the forceps here. The pin will then be cut one centimeter beyond this in order to end up with a hook of proper length. The pin is withdrawn one centimeter, which is a pair of silver and black bands. Again note where the hook should begin and cut the pin one centimeter beyond this. The hook is started with a pin bending tool, positioning the mark where the hook should start between the lower two posts of the tool. The end of the pin is grabbed with a pin clamp and the hook completed with a second pin clamp. The hook is aligned with a distal hole and impacted. The process is repeated for the second pin. Again note the position where the hook should start and cut the pin a centimeter beyond that. Position the mark between the lower two posts of the pin bending tool and complete the hook as shown previously using two pin clamps. Overbending the hook slightly helps secure the hook to the adjacent pin hole as it's impacted. Impact both hooks to make sure they're fully seated and complete fixation proximally with additional screws as indicated. As a final step, check stability by placing the wrist through a range of motion.